Welcome to Global Tutors YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be looking at binomial expansion. Now, the question we have here says find the binomial expansion of x plus 2y raised to 4. Now, the second question said find the expansion of 1.06 raised to power 3 in 4 decimal places. Now, the question remains how do we solve binomial expansion? Now, Let's start with the first question. Let's say solution A. Solution A. So we are to find the binomial expansion of this. So what we have is x plus 2y raised to 4. Now, I will make it to be brief. Whenever you are finding binomial expansion of any given expression, please make use of combinational method. That is, taking a combination of different terms. You know, combination means selection of terms so what i'm going to do here is this i will say okay since this is raised to the fourth power i will say okay i will start with four combination with zero four combination with one four combination with two i will continue doing it until i have four combination with four if this is five i'll continue doing it until i have five combination with five if this is six i'll continue doing it until i have six combination with six pretty cool so here i'm going to have four combination zero for combination zero so the first term i have here is x so i'll write x raised to power four minus zero is four bracket close now the second term i have here is two y now this is zero so i'll put zero here plus four combination after zero i will have one so i'm going to have x raised to power four minus one will give me three now the next term will be two y raised to one one plus I will have four combination two. I will have four combination two. Now we we'll have x raised to power four minus two is two. Two y raised to power two plus four combination three. I will have x raised to power four minus three is one. Then I will have two y raised to power three plus four combination four. Now I will have x raised to power four minus four is zero. Then I will have two y raised to power four. Now remember what I said when we started. If the power you have there is 4, make sure that you stop at 4 combination 4. If it is 5, make sure you stop at 5 combination 5. Like this is 4, I stopped at 4 combination 4. There is nothing like 4 combination 5. There is nothing like 4 combination 6. There is nothing like 4 combination 7. So since this is 4, we stop at 4. I did that it is 5, we will stop at 5. I did that it is 6, we will stop at 6. Like if you press 4 combination 5, 4 combination 6, 4 combination 7, you find out that it will give you maths error so where you have to stop is four in combination with itself so here now we simplify further we simplify further now with your calculator when you press four combination zero you find out that four combination zero we give you one so we have one x raised to power four now anything raised to zero is one plus when you press 4 combination 1, 4 combination 1 will give you 4. Now x raised to power 3 is s cube. Now 2, rest, two y raised to power 1 is 2y. Plus, when you press 4 combination 2, it will give you 6. s raised to power 2 is x squared. Now 2 y raised to power 2 is 2 times 2 is 4. So we have 4 y raised to power 2 is y squared. Plus, when you press 4 combination 3, it will give you 4. Now s to 1 is x. 2y raised to power 3, that is 2 raised to power 3 is 8. y raised to power 3 is y cube. Plus 4 combination 4 will give you 1. Now 2y raised to power 4, 2 raised to power 4 will give you 16. y raised to power 4 will give us y to the fourth power. So when we combine all these things, we are going to have 1 times this times this will give us x to 4. Plus 4 times this times this, 4 times 2 will give us 8 s cube y plus 6 times 4 will give us 24 x squared y squared plus 4 times 8 will give us 32 x i cube plus this times this times this will give us 16 y raised to power 4 remember what i did at the initial time remember what i did at the initial time when you have this and this 
this is x and this is 2y take this as the first value here take this as the second value here so since we're making use of binomial expansion principle we start with four combination zero the next one will be four combination one four combination two four combination three four combination four had even that it is five we have five combination zero five combination one five combination two five combination three five combination four and five combination five now at the end you now simplify everything you have now let us solve question number two solution two here we have here we have 1.06 raised to power 3. Now, if I want to expand this, what I'm going to do is this. I will try and split this. I will try and split this. How do I split? I'll say, okay, let this be equal to 1 plus 0 0.06 raised to power 3. Now, the reason why I'm splitting it into two is for me to have my A and my P. Remember, when we solve this, we have our A and we have our P. Now at the end, we now make use of combinational method. So here now I have I have split this to one plus zero point zero six to the third power. Now I will start taking my combinational rule. So the first one will be three combination zero bracket. This is one, so we have one. Three minus zero give me three brackets. Zero point zero six raised to power zero plus. The next one will be three combination one. Now I will have one, one raised to power 3 minus 1 is 2, then I have 0 0.06 raised to power 1 plus 3 combination 2, I will have 1 raised to power 3 minus 2 is 1, 0 0.06 raised to power 2 plus I will have 3 combination 3, now I will have 1 raised to power 3 minus 3 is 0, now I will have 0 0.06 raised to power 3. Now, another way of doing this is after doing this, you can checkmate what you did. Remember that our highest power here is 3. So the power of the sum of the powers must be 3. 3 plus 0 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. 0 plus 3 is 3. So we are accurate. So the next thing we're going to do now is that we're going to simplify what we have here. We're going to simplify what we have here. So simplifying it, we now have that 1.06 raised to the third power will be equal to now. 3 combination 0 will definitely give us 1. When you press 3 combination 0 in your calculator, definitely you are going to have 1. 1 raised to power 3 is 1. 0 0.06 raised to power 0 is 1. Plus 3 combination 1 definitely will give us 3 into 1 raised to power 2 is 1. 0 0.06 raised to power 1 gives us 0 0.06. Plus 3 combination 2. When you press 3 combination 2 in your calculator, definitely you have 3 into 1 raised to power 1 is 1. 0 0.06 raised to power 2 will give us 3.6 times 10 raised to power minus 3. Plus, when you press 3 combination 3 in your calculator, definitely you have 1. 1 raised to power 0 is 1. 0 0.06 raised to power 3 will give us 2.16 times 10 raised to power minus 4. Now, let me get a new space. Let's finish up our work. So, when we say... 1 times 1 times 1, definitely we are going to obtain 1 plus 3 times 1 times 0 0.06, definitely we are going to obtain 0 0.18 plus when we say 3 times 1 times 3.6 times 10 raised to power minus 3, definitely we are going to obtain 0 0.0108 plus when we say when we say 1 times 1 times 2.16 times 10 raised to power minus 4. Definitely, we are going to obtain 2.16 times 10 raised to power minus 4. Pretty cool. So, this is what we have. You can use your calculator and checkmate it. Now, when you say, when you start adding the values we have, 1 plus 0 0.18 plus 0 0.0108 plus 2.16 times 10 raised to power minus 4, definitely, we are going to obtain. 1.191016 so this is what we have now remember from the question they said find the expansion of 1.06 raised to power 3 in four decimal places so this is what we have now since our answer should be in four decimal places i will now convert this to be in four decimal places how do i do it i will count one two three four so what i'm going to have now 1.1910 so this is my final answer this is a four decimal
basis. Now you can still use your calculator to point this particular question out. You can still use your calculator to test it out. Okay, using the calculator. Okay, using the calculator, then I will press this. I will press 1.06 raised to power 3 in my calculator and see what I will have. So, if I should press 1.06 raised to power 3, 3, definitely look at what I will have. 1.191016. So, when we press in the calculator, we get 1.19. 1016 which is exactly what we got now we can still convert this to four decimal place so when we do that we have 1.1910 which is the same thing as what we got so binomial expansion simply means the act of solving it with your bare hand the act of solving it like if you give this thing to your calculator your calculator will still follow this principle and solve it and give you the end answer so whenever you are giving anything in binomial expansion to expand don't forget the first thing you do is that make sure that you have two terms let's say okay two values value a and value b now you now Make sure that you try to understand the power that you are working with. Like I'm working with a power of 4. Since I'm working with a power of 4, I'm going to have 5 different terms. Remember that since I'm working with combination, combination means selection. So I will select from when it is at limit 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if I should combine all, I will have combination 1, combination 0, combination 1, combination 2, combination 3, and combination 4. So 4 combination 0. 4 combination 1, 4 combination 2, 4 combination 3, and 4 combination what? 4. If you count it, I have 5 different terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 4 combination 0 is 1, 4 combination 1 is 4, 4 combination 2 is 6, 4 combination 3 is 4, and 4 combination 4 is a 1. Don't forget what we did. 4 combination 0, then we pick the first number, the first value x, 4 minus 0 is 4, pick the second value, give it 0, plus, then... 4 combination 1, x, 4 minus 1 is 3, pick the second value, give it 1, plus 4 combination 2, 4 minus 2 is 2, and uh -huh. the same way, you continue doing it like that until you get to the last one, 4 combination 4, 4 minus 4 is 0, then 2y raised to power, the last thing, then at the end, 4 combination 0 will give you 1, s to 4, then to anything to 0 is 1, then 4 combination 1 is 4, s to 3, 2y raised to power 1 is 2y plus, now 4 combination 2, like that, you have your you have your 6, s raised to power 2 will give you s squared for 2, y raised to power 2, 2 times 2, remember 2 raised to power 2 is 4, y raised to power 2 is y squared, plus 4 combination 3 will give you 4, s raised to power 1 is x, 8, y raised to power 4, 2, y raised to power 3, 2 raised to power 3 is 8, then y raised to power 3 is y cubed plus 4 combination 4 is 1, x raised to power 0 is 1, and 2 raised to power 0 is 1, then 2 raised to power 4 will give you 16, y raised to power 4 will give you y4, then at the end you multiply each, multiply this, multiply this, multiply this, multiply this, and multiply this, then you sum. So when you sum, this is what you're going to have. Now whenever you're giving a value like this, and you're asked to expand this, you're asked to expand it, what you're going to do is that, split it in such a way that you have term, you have value A and you have value B. Now after having value A and value B, you still follow the principle, 3 combination 0, you pick the first value, 3 minus 0 is 3, second value, let's to power that, then plus 3 combination 1, you pick the first value again, pick the first value, 3 minus 1, 2, like that, until you get to the last one. Now, when you have combination 3, remember that it will end in 3 combination 3, like here we have combination, we have 4, it ended in 4 combination 4, it ended in 4 combination 4. So you had even that it is 5, it will end in 5 combination 5. If it is 6, it will end in 6 combination 6. So if you are giving a question of this type, let's say 2.08 raised to power 6, and you are asked to expand this, this one will end in 6 combination 6. And for you to solve this one, you can split it to be 2 plus 0 0.08 raised to power 6. If you are giving this 3.90 raised to power 7, and you are asked to expand this, you can change this to 3, point, 3 plus 0 0.9, okay, 0 0.90 raised to the power of what? 7. And this one will end in 7 combination 7. Now, in our next video, we'll be looking at how to obtain a particular term. You can be given this type of expression. They will be asked, what is the sixth term of this expansion? What is the tenth term of this expansion? What is the eighteenth term? Of this expansion thank you very much for watching you can still go through the videos maybe one two three four five six seven eight nine 
10 times to make sure that you understand it very very well please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share and don't forget to like you can click on the notification button so that you will be updated whenever we have new videos thank you very much for watching i still remains on the love mathematics